back on Tuesdays now because Monday tends to be a day off if I'm working the weekend which seems to be quite a lot recently so we're going to be doing Facebook lives on a Tuesday so thanks very much for joining us four o'clock as per usual now having said that for the next three Tuesdays I'm away in India with the craft travel company so I will be um, doing a few um, odd lives at different times from India and um, just to give you sneak peeks of what we're up to uh, we'll be crafting out there as well so um, yeah I'll just watch out on my Facebook page Indigo Blue and um, also my personal one which is Kay Halliwell Sutton and um, I'll be doing some Facebook lives on there so um, keep a watch out. So what am I going to do today? I'm going to have a play with some vivid sprays. Now I did a class this weekend all about vivid spray techniques and we did lots and lots and lots of techniques. Um, in fact a whole box full and it was amazing really good fun and it's inspired me to have a go um, at doing a master board again because someone on the course um, asked me what a master board was and I thought yeah I haven't done one for ages so it's basically a way of doing a really big piece of card and decorating it and doing lots of different techniques and then basically you chop it up into pieces and you can use it in your ATCs, your junk journals, um, cards, whatever it is and it's always good to have a few handy that you've made so that if some inspiration takes you and you want to craft for a quick half an hour having a master board to start with is brilliant. So what am I going to be using? I'm going to be using some words off my mindfulness number one and um, I love these heartfelt words really really lovely I'm going to be using these here because I think I I'm going to make some ATCs because on the indigo blue Facebook page um, we're doing an ATC swap and I never get a chance to do it so I thought if I did it on Facebook live then I can actually end up doing it so I'll send these off to whoever Lorna who organized it Lorna Anguin tells me to so someone is going to get these ATCs when I finish them hopefully they'll be good enough <laughs> if not I'll be doing them again um, then I'm going to be using this lovely circle stamps that I've got um, I can't remember the name but you'll I'll recognize you. them I'll, I'll tell, tell you because he's brilliant at that so I'm going to be using some of those I'm going to be using some lovely vivids I'm going to be using Little John and Maid Marion from the map set and I'm also going to be using the gorgeous raindrops on roses from the sparkly spotty set. circles these are called spotty circles thanks Alfie um, I'm going to be using the refills as well so obviously the refills are great for refilling these but you can use them on their own as well so I'm going to be using blue satin sashes and raindrops on roses could we possibly close the door yeah. great thank you we don't want to hear the dogs barking do we um so <laughs> they're a bit excitable um so I'm going to be using those as well um, I'm also going to be using some stencils now I've just grabbed a few stencils I might not use all of them I might only use one or two but I've just got lots of lovely stencils here to use as well okay so that's those and I've got my watercolor paper here watercolor card I should say and don't worry that I've just got bits of dirt on it that's going to be fine now I want to get a really deep color on here because I want to be able to lift color back off so I'm going to, you can use an A3 sheet, A2 sheet, whichever, but this fits on the camera really quite nicely. So I'm going to go ahead with this. Have you mentioned the discount code? I haven't mentioned the discount set code. So Alfie, let me do a nice sort of Victorian finger point. So Alfie has done an exclusive Facebook YouTube offer. Woohoo! So wow, 20% off Vivids. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. That's this week only. And you just need to use the code VIVID20 at checkout. So there's a little box when you come to do the checkout. You put that code in and then it'll automatically take off 20% off all your vids. So does that mean that it cleans the matte vivids and the sparkling vivids and the refills? Yeah. Excellent. All of them. Mm -hmm. There you go. 
Fantastic. So I'm going to be using these. And then there's a giveaway, which is an A5 stamp of people's choice. Like, comment and share. Oh, fantastic. Four so, to be one. So we're giving away four A5 stamps. Let me just bring that mic in a bit closer. So four A5 stamps are going to be given away. All you have to do to enter is like, comment and share. And uh, then you'll be chosen at random. Usually it's the next day, isn't it? But it's chosen. Yes. And then you'll be asked what stamp you would like from our Indigo Blue selection of A5 stamps. That's nice big ones here. So it's that size. So any of your choice. Lovely. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Little John Maid Marin and Range Up Some Roses. So I want this to be really quite heavy with colour. So I'm going to, first of all, wet my watercolour card. This is just with a normal watercolour water spray. And I know that I've got bits of ink all over it already, but that's okay. Uh, I've just put some paper down purely because I want to catch any odd bits. Normally I would have a piece of rice paper down to catch um, any extras. So, ooh, lovely. Now the reason why I'm using Made Marion is the ATC theme this month is pink, purple and blue. And if you know me, you know I hardly ever use purple. So this is going to be quite something for me. So when you're using our Vivids, once you've sprayed, you just need to dip the lid into some water and give that, whoops, let me just move that out of the way and get my rag. And then just clean the, the top and then that way you will not get um, a blocked nozzle. And so, I've, oh, this is such a lovely blue. I just love this blue. This is Little John and this is a matte blue. So you haven't got any sparkles in those at all. So that's those two. And I'm just going to avoid knocking the microphone and just add lots more water onto this. Then I'm going to come in with the raindrops on roses because this is sort of like um, a lovely sparkly pinky ready colour and with this one you do have to give it a good shake until all the mica um, is actually all mixed in. So with this I'm going to go all over. You can see that I'm spraying quite close and I'm going to go over the top of the purple as well and again I'm going to dip that into water That's and wipe the nozzle. No one wants a block nozzle. They don't. They don't. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. This is um, brilliant. If you do ever get a block nozzle, all you have to do is just take the top off and um, pull this nozzle off and then give it a really, really good clean in warm soapy water. I even use a very soft toothbrush just to get into there. But generally, if you follow the rule of dipping your nozzle in water every time that way you're going to keep that nice and clean okay so we've got lots going on here i normally leave this to dry naturally but i'm going to blast this have already got one pre-done which I did a few minutes ago just before I went um went on air so let me just move that out of the way and this is what I got left so you can see it's really really dark which is what I want because I want to do some techniques where we actually take the colour back out so first of all just get some plain water and just just splash over the top and that's going to give me some really nice ink 
um, mark, splash marks because this ink is water reactive. It's not like my paints that are permanent um, but this will continue to be water reactive which is what I really wanted from these inks because as I say my paint is not like that at all. Um, whilst that's cooking as it were I've got some pieces of lace. I've got this is um, a bit of resist canvas. Um, what else have I got here? I've got some cardboard as well. So um, just going to get another scrap of paper and I just want to do these as well. So I'm going to come in, I want some lighter colours with this. So I'm going to wet these first especially the lace. So the lace I'm using is, um, I think it's a, a cotton viscous mix, so it's man-made fibres. So I want these to be a softer colour. So again, I'm going on with Raindrops on Roses with that one. And this time, I think, I think we'll have, where's my summer peaches would be nice but I think I probably need to go with more of a purpley colour or how about a bit of jam and bread or even better why don't I go for the um, my favourite blue if I can find it so it's blue satin sashes there you go blue satin sashes so let's just move these out of the way and let's have a little bit of um, blue satin sashes. So I love spraying fabrics and lace. It looks beautiful, especially if you wet it first, because then you get softer colours. Because remember, my inks are really, really concentrated. They're like the paints. They're, um, they're really strong colours so that you can um, dilute them down. So, um, so again, that's blue satin sashes, that one which is my favourite sparkly colour. So again, these are just going to be absolutely gorgeous when they dry off. <laughs> Hi Jill! Hi Sharon! Hi Maisie! Yeah, get out scraps of materials as well Maisie! But it does look really, really lovely. And the packaging, look at that packaging, is just gorgeous, isn't it? Hi Lorna, no, I haven't started packing yet. There we go, so those will dry off better. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And I quite like the paper as well, I'll be using that in a in a journal page definitely so I'll just put those off to one side for a moment and let's come back to this with which I splash with water so you know me I normally use rags but for this it's probably best if you use um, kitchen roll so just soak up all of that water because the water reactivates the ink so oh that's quite nice as well isn't it So then I can start taking away even more with using um, some stencils. So let's go for a big stencil to begin with. And let's just spray through this stencil here. And then you need to just leave that for a moment for the water to take hold. I've probably sprayed it a bit too much to be honest. It might be a bit fuzzy. And then just press your kitchen roll over the top. Ooh, see, that's quite nice, isn't it? And then you'll get a nice image coming through. And just let that dry off and that will really come to life there. Let's try um, something a bit more open. I like these as well. So I'm going to be quite directional with 
with my spray on these and try not to be too heavy handed with it but you can see the ink starting to um, come through there we go that's starting to you can see now it's starting to come through and you get these lovely lovely looks to it which is beautiful see how that's drying now and you get that lovely ghosting with it going to come on over here and overlay even more so again just so I'm just going to hold that down for a few minutes or a few seconds Thanks Suzanne. Yeah, the stencils, you'll find them all on the website. Um, I use them all the time. They're just so useful stencils, aren't they? They're just brilliant. Look Therese, at all that ink. Teresa's asked how many times can you wet the paper before it gets too wet? How many times? Oh gosh, loads. Um, this is our watercolour card and it's, um, it, it's really um, strong. It's a good weight. Um, I do it multiple times and you don't get that pilling um, so it's a really nice good weight of card but it is the watercolour card um, from our website um, if you don't have that or um, if you've got any from Phil Martin his is really nice as well that's a nice watercolour card or our cotton rag our cotton rag is superb for this for wetting and re-wetting um, but look at look at the colour that you get through from this yes maybe I should have put gloves on but so that I'm definitely going to keep so we're starting to get some patterns coming through and I'm, now the next one I think actually I'm going to layer this up again and this time I'm going to use some gesso so this gesso is great because it's wet and it will again wet the ink and it will um, reconstitute the, the ink so that you don't get a bright white you actually just get, you get a, a little paint mat so you get the colour of the ink coming through so let me just do this off the page let me get some scrap paper underneath that before I get it all over the place so if you watch first of all that looks white but just wait and it will start to pull the ink through so you'll start to see the blues and the purples and the pinks coming through so you won't end up with a white you get this lovely delicate softness from the ink so you can see already it's pulling that blue through which is just gorgeous isn't that lovely oh I see that works so nicely I'm gonna just put that in in here I am going to do a bit more down here so I've got a whole strip and I'm what am I using I'm just using an old um, a kitchen sponge cheap kitchen sponge I find really useful for this sort of thing you know the ones that you get from a cheapy shop 10 for a pound and then I cut them up into small pieces and then this is going to go straight into my bucket of water oh and that's looking really lovely see how the splashes have been affected which are lighter and then of course you've got the ghosting with me using the water through the stencils and then the gesso on top which is just looking gorgeous so you can see how you can build up the layers with that so um, I quite like these twiddly bits on the edge here so I think I might just do a little bit more over here because this is quite wet this ink 
So let me just do a little bit over here, just coming down that edge. And then just fading out a little bit over there and just fading out just a tiny bit around there as well. Oh, that's just really nice the way that's working out. So that's going straight into my bucket of water again. So the reason for that is the gesso is really tough and it will stick to your stencils and it's very difficult to get off. So clean your stencils straight away with that. Okay. Right, so that's your gesso layer. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry that off. So if your if your ink isn't as dark as this, your results will be a lot more subtle. Um, but I'm just going to, um, let's, let's have a go with this over the top. So I'm going to re-wet it again. Okay, and I'm just going to leave that to sit for a few seconds for it to um, have an effect and pull that ink out. And then I'm going to um, go over it with a, some kitchen roll. Meanwhile, while that's happening, um, let's have a look at what else I've got here. I've got some circle dots, which would be quite nice as well, I think, over that. I seem to be going for lots of circle-y type ones. Okay, let's try getting this up. Oh, see, that's nice. And again, we're getting a nice effect there. I'm going to go again. The more you do, the more ink will come off. That's nice. And I'm just going to leave it, leave it a bit longer this time. Meanwhile, I'm going to, um, normally I wouldn't do any texture paste because it takes a while to dry, but I'm going to see whether I can put just a little bit on a thin layer and just see whether I can Let's go with it about, about there, shall we? Just put a little bit on, thin layer, and I'll see whether I can just fast dry it. So this is True Grit. And again, what's going to happen is this is going to pull the colour out because it's wet. But if I dry it with a heat gun straight away, it's going to retain more of its whiteness. Oh, you see, isn't that gorgeous but I want it to pull that ink out so can you see it already again put this straight into your bucket of water because it's really tough stuff um, let me get my rag just to clean my hands um, a little tip for you um, that a lovely um, woman in um, one of my classes suggested was if you use a glycerin soap or um, pear soap is a good one that will take off the ink off your hands right so we've still got this area here working on the water so let's do that that's lovely and let's just get that dry okay so that's looking good also what we can do is we can take some mark making tools and I've got various sort of lids and tubes and things that I use here thank you And then what I can do is I can take 
a puddle of water and just... Caroline's asked, is there going to be a Christmas magazine this year? There's not going to be a Christmas magazine this year, unfortunately, no. Um, it's actually been put back and uh, the latest is that it's going to be... Is it um, first week of June, Alfie? Like that, I yes. think it was the first week of June. So yes, unfortunately, it's been put back. But it'll be worth the wait because it's going to be fabulous. Um, we've already designed the uh, the stamps for it, and all the uh, the graphic designers have done the papers and everything like that. So um, it obviously, it has to be about <laughs> almost a year in advance. So, um, so yeah, it'll be lovely, be worth it. But yes, I know it's always nice to have um, have that in your Christmas box, isn't it? Okay, so you can make marks with your little bits and pieces as well, or it might be your credit card. Of course, I love doing my credit card ones as well. So let me just clean this off get some gesso on here and pick up some gesso with my old credit card store card and then I can just do some lovely few lines which I love now this where I've put I've stamped with the water I've just left for a bit I'm not going to soak that up just yet so i love using a credit card i just think it's so organic it works really nicely and i'm going to do that once i've chopped it up as well so now this water is soaking up quite well let's just Soak that up. There we go. That's nice. And this is really quite soft and subtle around here in the middle. But I'm liking this already. Is it ready to chop up? It might be actually. Now you can do some stamping on top of here, which um, I would normally do. But I'm going to wait and do that on the actual ATCs themselves. So I'm just going to dry this off. Um, I do want bit more of this on I think though let's let's have some words on here and let's go with the gesso since it's already here I would normally like to do this with a texture paste but this this will do there we go so that will tone down in a minute when we get that see the inks coming through oh, it's just so gorgeous Again, that's going to go into my pot of water and so let's make a bit of a, a bit of twine and a few sentiments you could easily make for cars absolutely Anne's on her way home she helped us out today thank you Anne my friend came in to help Right, so what I've also done is I've um, stamped Angels Are Watching Over You, Their Wings Wrapped Gently Around You, Whispering You Are Loved and Blessed. And I've put that on some foam tape and I'll probably be colouring it, but I'll wait until I've made up the ATCs first. So I'll just put that to one side. Let's move this out of the way and let's bring in everything else that we've done and let's just chop these up I'll just dry this off make sure it's nice and dry okay so Normally I'd go over to the guillotine and chop it all up, but um, I've actually cut some pieces of ATC 
ATCs are just artist trading cards and it's instead of having business card artists would you know draw something or have something on the front and they would swap it with other artists um, so it's two and a half inches by three and a half inches or there thereabouts so I quite like these circles here so I might just cut that one out That'll be nice. Yeah, that works. Um, and then the one next to it. And we do have um, an ATC stamp as well. So you can actually use it to stamp all the details on the back and fill them in. And then the good thing is I get a bit of this as well, which is nice. And then I've still got plenty to use on either a card or a journal page or some more ATCs. Okay, so we've got three matching pieces here. Let me just get that underneath those. There we go. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to glue these down onto nice clean pieces of card. Well, actually, I'll do that last probably because I'll make a mess. Um, and then let's bring in all the other bits that I've I've made. Oh, I love these bits. Love them. Right, I've also stamped a load of these as well. So. What I've done is I've just stamped them with um, Black Verse Fine and I've actually used our Ultra Fine Embossing Glaze just to emboss them. And then let me just put those to one side. And then I've got Raindrops on Roses and I did have, there it is, Blue Satin Sashes. So with these babies, I'm going to, instead of just painting them, dipping them in and painting them, I'm just going to put a little bit of water on them. And then I'm going to put just a drop on here and just let, let it just run and just see what happens to it. And that's the beauty of these refills. They've got a really small nozzle as you can see so you can just put a nice sort of drop on and you can just let them run so i'm just going to get a brush and wet it and just encourage that just to to move and you'll see the sparkle oh that's really mixed in hasn't it There we go, that will do. Oh, look at the dark colour of that. <clears throat> now I've gone and put it on a paint mat, which if I heat, it's going to melt. So I better just put it back on the paper and give it a blast. It's always better to leave it to dry naturally because I am burning off some of that pigment. But you get a really nice organic feel to it which is really nice which I like and here are the other bits that I I did in exactly the same way so it's not perfectly neat and orderly that's a little bit I like the sort of organic -y feel to it and I've absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with these so Let's just see where it comes. I've actually sewn together some purple, pink and, um, well, purple and pink um, 
to perhaps go on as well but I think I quite like I like these pieces and I don't want to cover up too much I think that would look really cool if I just put a bit of this on and maybe look at that that's just gorgeous isn't it and maybe a bit of that would look good perhaps um, and this has turned out really nice just gonna tear that up and I think that would look great like this so I'm just layering beautiful little pieces um, at the side there I think that works really nicely uh, I don't know cover too much up because I think they look really lovely on their own and it has got that beautiful hand dyed look to it which I think is just really beautiful so we've also got um, some of this as well so if I do something similar on on the rest um, let's go with a little piece of that underneath and a little piece of this maybe on top okay um, and then let's do again what we want is that them to complement each other don't we so I'm just going to carry on layering up some of these pieces let's use a piece of this and a little bit of this and a little bit of that so I think these are quite big I don't want to cover up that background too much because I think that background's lovely so I, I might just put um, just put one of these on perhaps just tuck that in so it's just peeking out um, yeah that sort of gives me the idea okay let's start um, gluing this down let me just check I've got I asked for a nice big bottle of um, grab and go because I use loads of it so let me just open this new one right so what am I going to do with this one I quite like that one on the bottom so let's just pop that one on um, and then just hold down for a few seconds put a little bit too much there well that's okay less is more um, I think I wanted this one next and yeah the grab and go does stick the fabric down especially when you're using um, card there that's quite quite good now do I want this underneath or do I want it on top I think I want it underneath so this one can go next so just put a little tiny bit of grab and go on there so I'm gonna, glad I didn't really plan all this out because it's nice to see how I go about this um, and that one can go about there And let's just put this little little one up here 
Now, on there, on in front of you, Alfie, is a tiny little pink stapler. Can I use that, please? Thank you. Because soon as we have got a pink theme, it might be nice just to put a couple of staples in. There we go. Okay, yes. Happy with that one. What do you reckon? Yeah. Okay, so the next one. Um, so I think we had this one down first. Let's do this one first. Can't believe how lovely this packaging is. Um, I quite I saved it because um, it was unusual with it being a cream colour. And it's just taken the ink so well. I've just sprayed the inks on man-made stuff, man-made fi fibres, um, natural fibres, silk, um, all sorts. And it does work incredibly well. I'm going to do this over and then chop off the excess. So I'm just going to put tiny little bits going down here for this lace. Um, like so. And then you've got that peeking out, which is, whoops, lovely. Let's just move that. Um, I don't want to cover too much of this up. I'm just going to fray the bottom a little bit. I think I might just put that much on. Oh gosh, both sides are lovely. Okay, we'll go with this side. And we've got it nicely frayed at the bottom there. That'll that'll do. So hold that on. Let's just trim that. And then I think we'll go with this little love here and I'm just going to put that on with a, a staple, a cross kiss staple. There we go. Yeah, I like that because I really like this here. And then the third one, again, we're going to put this on. I think this will go up here on this one, make it a bit different. Um, and then we've got this one at the bottom. Like so. Um, I think we'll have, not quite sure about this one. I'm just going to place this here for now. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Um, and again, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm actually getting them so just little bits peek out, which I think look really sweet. Um, and I love all the different textures. So again, I just want to put a little bit down here. Maybe a bit on there. That's far too much glue, Kay. I'll just wipe that off. Too much glue on my fingers, that's the trouble. Oh. There we go. And I can't waste that tiny little bit of lace, can I? So that's going to go. That's the bit that I cut off. Okay, and then this little baby is going to go at the bottom here just to tie in. And because I've used the same colours on the fabric and the background and the stamped images, it all ties in, you see, so it's not, it's not going to be difficult colour-wise. Okay, so now we've got this. So... I'm just going to trim this up a little bit more. 
and if I put these on white they're really gonna show up so if I just take a little bit of color um, where's my brush and just give them a hint of color so just wet wet brush Um, because I've um, stamped it and em embossed it, it's going to um, it's going to just not cover up all the text, and then I'm just going to dab that a little bit. So you can see it takes off the majority of the white. Meanwhile, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to use that definitely for something. Okay, so here we go. So. This might end up being far too big to go on them, but I'm going to give it a try. And I do have a problem, I have to admit, with cutting straight. So maybe if I don't try, I might end up with it straight. So let's do just do this off the top of my head rather than figure it out. So angels are watching it over. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's lovely comments. Thank you so much. And just make sure, um, you know, when you make something, it doesn't have to be made with indigo blue, but if you just want to show it off or you've got some of our stamps or vivids or something, you know, just um, post it on our on our Indigo Blue Facebook page. And it's so lovely to see your um, makes. Um, Just chopping these up. So obviously it's a set of three, so that's why I'm putting the words across all three of them. Um, and then let's put this is it, you are loved and blessed on the third one. Oh no, it's lovely, isn't it? It's something that you can use for all sorts of different occasions. Just to say hello to a friend, just to say, you know, if someone's poorly. If you've lost someone. So the last little bits. There and we go. Asked, what's the name of the stencil that looks like balls of string? Oh, that one. Um, this one here. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to find out for you. Okay, so all these little scraps, 
Now I'm not going to throw them away because these go in my little scraps box for when I just need to add a little something along with my little bits of look <laughs> what these little bits hanging around I know I'm a bit of a hoarder but I don't know we need to add it to the website it's oh there. Alfie says it's it's not on the website so we need to add it um so find it first. yeah we need to find it I know I love it okay so here we go so there we go so angels are watching over you their wings wrap gently around you whispering you are loved and blessed i'm really pleased with that it could have been a car crash but i'm really pleased with that um really happy so what i'm going to do is mount them onto some clean card i'm going to stamp with our atc and then if lorna you could tell me someone who i'd um, like to swap with um I will do the ATC swap this month. Yay! First time I've done an ATC swap. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have to do this every month now, aren't I? Which is brilliant because it gives me an excuse to have a play and do whatever I want, which is brilliant. <laughs> so you get crafting and you get making your ATCs. And the lovely thing is you get to swap with some like-minded people. And we always tend to put in a little bit of happy mail as well, don't we? Odd little bits and pieces pieces that we've actually made or scraps of stuff that we think you might like so um, I will put those um, in and hopefully whoever gets them will enjoy them as much as I did making them so thank you all so very very much for joining me um, I'm going to be away for the next three Tuesdays but I will be doing some lives from India um, with the peeps there so watch out on my uh, Facebook page K Halliwell Sutton. Um, I've now got a page and um, so you don't have to be a friend um, to follow me. Just click on the following button. Um, so please join me on that and join me on Indigo Blue um, Facebook page as well. Lovely to see you all. Thank you so much. Don't forget that you get 20% off all your Vivids this week uh, using the code Vivid20. And uh, remember to, what do we do? We like, comment and share to be in with the chance of winning one of four A5 stamp sets. So thank you so much, everybody. Lovely, lovely comments. Love you lots. Thank you. Take care.